Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost, you're watching Provost Park Pass, and tonight we're going to be talking about the dark places of Disney. What? Dun dun dun! In today's video, we're going to talk about Cars Land at nighttime because nighttime is the right time. And we're going to look at a little bit of holiday lighting and see how beautiful this land is. Let's do it. I think of all the lands, Cars Land is one of the most beautiful lands, particularly at nighttime. You got all these beautiful lights up here and it just looks awesome. Now, Cars Land is based off of Route or Route 66, right there, 1966. And we're gonna take a look at it here at night and see all the different lights and how they make this place pop. Because at nighttime, this place really shines. Come on, come over here. If you look, take a look here, it'll feel more. This is a Fillmore filling station and uh, it just looks so good. It's got a little psychedelic colors to it. And you come in here and you see that they has all these different drinks that you could try. Of course, this is where they sell things during the daytime, but at nighttime, you kind of cleared it out. But you can see he's got organic raspberry. He's got free range seaweed. He's got corn fed soy. He's got high desert yucca, I guess. I don't know what this is. 100% whole wheat wheat, steroid free prickly pear, fermented oat bran, and of course, you've got sweet yellow corn and not to miss out on the essence of blue corn. So look at these little things. And then during the daytime, they put drinks here. You buy drinks, this little watering hole for you. But I love the way they have it lit up. If you notice at night, it's the psychedelic colors that really kind of pop and they light those up. Just feel more heavily influenced by the psychedelic movement of the 60s, the 1960s. A lot of things we'll be seeing will be the holiday inspired. We got a lot of Christmas lights here going on because it's holiday times. It's kind of cool. Hey, you notice right up there, you got Toe Mater right over there with the Santa hat on. And then down here, you can see right over here, it says Jingle Jamboree. They've changed it right there. Now, if you walk down a little bit further, you can see Sarge's Surplus Hut. This is where Sarge is. And you got a nice little fireworks go up. I love the neon lighting that they have here. Looks like it's shooting a little gun right there, the Sarge. And those are the army stripes for being a sergeant, I believe. You walk right in here and you see Sarge's surplus home. Let's go take a look at it. Lots of fun things in here. You see they got all the little cars here for sale. The wagon wheel, the wheel well motel. And there's even a little more. Look at this. It's like a, I don't know, like a, maybe like a Spanish inspired villa. And then, of course, they got the little bridge here and the racing toys here. This is all here in Sarge's hut. Now, this is one of my favorite things here inside Sarge's hut. They have this little diorama, a little miniature of the of Carthland. Of course, there's Phil Morris, where just at. There's Sarge's right there. We're inside that. Now, this is the one area they don't really have here. This is like the. What is that? The, the racing museum. There, and there's also Tomaters Junkyard Jamboree. But you got the Cozy Cone. You got all this, everything here that you can pretty much see when you come down here to uh, Cars Land. And look at it. And look, it's all lit up. And since it's a little bit darker, you can kind of see it. It's all lit up. Even a little fountain. And what you want to do is you want to come right down to the very end here. Get all the way down. You can see all the way down the city. Look at that. There's a little, there's a little. <laughs> I don't need to ask for directions. Look how cool that is. Wow. One of the things you have to really think about at Disney is at nighttime, you have to have lights so you know where to look, see. I mean, if it's just all dark, you bump into things. But they are so creative with the way they light up things. They do here in Carsland, they have like street lamps. <laughs> It's just normal street lamps kind of lighting the way. Now here we are at the Cozy Cone Hotel. You can see that this is the, I'm sorry, hotel, I mean motel. What really is the difference between a hotel and a motel? It's that a hotel you have to go through a lobby and you're enclosed, where a motel you can just walk up to any door. So that's a motel. And you can see it's got the Cozy Cone, it says no vacancy. Now for those of you who don't know, the little, little ones who may be watching this, Back in the day, a lot of times you'd be driving down the highway, you get tired, you want to pull over to sleep somewhere. They'd have these signs. And if it's if there's a room available, it'd say vacancy. So you know you could pull over and go right in and get a room. 
if they had the no vacancy sign on, you need to just keep driving till you find another hotel. And this is the lobby. They have the lobby area. This is where you would check in the hotel. It says office right here. And of course, you have a little sign that says lobby. It's all lit up. And you notice the lights inside are cones. Get a little bit of reflection of the flows behind me, but you can see the, the lights are cones. And they also have decorated the Christmas tree which has a bunch of cones on it. And if you look really close, you can see a gingerbread house. Houses, I guess. They're not houses, gingerbread cones. They have the Cozy Cone Hotel done in gingerbread. All right, now this here is Flo's V8 Cafe. I think this is the crown jewel of the nighttime. And I've been told, see what this is, this is an engine block, specifically a V8 engine block. And those are the four spark plugs across the top. Boom, 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 one, two, three, four. Now I'm not an automotive guy, but I have been told that they fire in the order that a normal V8 engine would fire. And you kind of see like little spark plug right there, spark, spark, spark. That is the order that they would be firing. And you kind of see underneath the fire, you can see like the, they're like the little piston would be coming down, the lights up red. I think that's so cool that they have that attention detail. And of course it just looks beautiful. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a V8 block. And one of my favorite details is this street lamp up here. In the movie, Fillmore says every third blink is a little bit slower. Well, check it out. Short, short, long. Just like Fillmore said. Now this next detail here is awesome, uh, and you won't you don't really notice it until nighttime. You can see here we're at the Radiator Curo shop. Now it says Radiator Winter because we're here for the holidays. But what you want to notice is this would be one of the very first shops that was that was made here, and uh, it's done with like a lot of wood. But you notice there's no neon. They got the just the little, little incandescent light bulbs that go in. You screw in and out. And some of them are burned out because they're older. And this is since it's the first shop, they probably opened this before. There was neon lighting, so they use those little light bulbs. That's why this shop doesn't have neon. I love that detail. All right, so now we got the Luigi's Casa della tires. And you'll notice here at nighttime, it's really lit up. You've got it green, white, and red. Green, white, red. Why? Well, that's the Italian flag color, green, white, and red, because they're from Italy. And if you also notice right there on the neon, it's green, white, and red for the Italian flag. And if you look at the on the roof there, they got all the tires and they've got the neon lighting on it. And it looks so cool love it now of course for the holidays they have it all decorated as a little christmas tree all right i'm going to go inside because i want to show you one of my favorite hidden mickeys inside this uh, shop here now this is closed off because there's not enough people here but i've been i've been told that i can go right back here and show you this hidden mickey all right so i was given permission to come in here i just want to show this guys look at this there he is like there's there's lightning mcqueen with Mickey ears, now that makes you wonder, does, does Cars Land have their own Disneyland in their version? I love that little hidden Mickey there. Ah! All right, all right, all right, all right. So now we're out here at Ramones. I love this. I love this. this is the house of body art. And um, you got pinstriping, flame jobs, and air brushing. And it says right there in neon. And you look in there, they got, right now they have, the, of course, the purple and green Christmas tree. That, that matches Ramon. But I also kind of kind of show you inside. This doesn't have anything to do with being at nighttime, but it is really cool inside. Oh, look, and by the way, I have to show you this. One of the other cool things is they put in new hoods for the holidays. I don't know if you guys noticed this. So if you look right here, it says Santa car. See that? It, it's hard to see because of all the reflection, but that's a Santa car on the hood. And you, and you notice that the holly berries, they're lug nuts. And this one here, oh man, it's got that reflection. Feliz Navidad, right there. It looks very cool. And this one is amazing. I love this one now. It looks really cool, but what it is? It's the menorah for Hanukkah. See that? You got the candles. Look at that. <laughs> I love that they do that. Way to go, Disney. And this one here has just got some poncetas. I never know how to say it. Is it poncetas or poncetias? But yeah, it's very cool. 
Love the holiday trunks. Look, and this is the last one. Look how cool this is. Oh, looks how good that looks. All right, now I'm gonna take you inside because I just wanna show you inside here, Ramones. I love this store very much. But what I wanna show you is in this room right here. Now you have to ask yourself, who does Ramon have a relationship with? Flo, Flo's V8 Cafe. Flo and Ramon are they're an item. And then right here in this, what do you see on the wall? That's right, little heart says Flo. Cause they're in love. Now, one of my favorite signs here is the Lubarama sign. I just love that. It looks like it's pouring oil down into a martini glass with an olive. And you'll also notice the oil pan says open and it looks like the drip is getting bigger. <laughs> I love it. It's something you really don't see during the daytime. This sign here is Mr. Curb Feeler. You see how it's going up and down with neon. Do, 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 do. Mr. Curb Feeler. And you'll notice that's the side of the car. That's a tire. And then this is the, this is the, like the, what, where the light would be in the front of the car. Well, what is a curb feeler? It's these little antennas that you put off the side of your car. And they, if they get touched like a curb, they, if they bend or touch the car, the side of the curb, they, a little light comes out of the car, lets you know, hey, you're getting really close to that curb or, pulling into a, a garage, you're like, oh, it'd be too close. They call it a curb feeler. And you can really see it at nighttime, Mr. Curb Feeler. That's the side of profile of a car, the side of a car, it's a light, there's a little curb and tire. Now this sign is one of the best signs of very few people, you only see it at nighttime, how cool it is. It's the Lubo-Rama parts and stuff. Now what you'll notice is that it's dripping. See, it's going purple. There it is, all purple now, it's dripping down let you know you got to go in here i love the sign it looks like it's coming out of a gas can it's hard because the neon reflects on the camera but you kind of can see it so this there's the purple and now it's going to start to drip down I'll let you know hey boop drip drip and then go in there for parts and stuff and then, of course, you've got the Gateway to Ornament Valley, Radiator, Radiator Springs, Racers, and his little blue eye. Here in Carsland, they really use the neon to help light it up at nighttime, plus the street lamps coming off to give it a nice little glow. It is so cool and pretty at nighttime. If you have little ones, you gotta bring them to Cars Land at night. Their eyes just, it's just almost, it's almost too much for them. It's, it's like, uh, it's just too much. Overwhelming, overwhelms them. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cargo. Cargo who? Cargo beep beep. <laughs> This is part of it that the, it, the lighting here is some of the best lighting in all of Disney. It's done so good, it's so well lit up that you don't even know it's being lit up. Look at the mountains. The mountains are beautiful, they're gorgeous. Look how well they're lit up. You can see the texture on the rocks. They look absolutely amazing. You got the, uh, from the Cadillac Ranch, the telfins over there. but. If you look at them, you got to take a look here at the lighting of all the rocks. And then as the cars come by, we'll see a car come by right over here. At nighttime, they have their lights on. There they go. The lights are on because they're racing at nighttime. Wow. Let's get a little closer and look at the waterfall. Now, during the holidays, the mountains are lit up as purple and uh, green because that's the Halloween colors here in, in DCA. And then the waterfall looks like a, like a bloody waterfall, but now it's back to being normal. It's lit up, looks gorgeous, well lit up. All right, I'm gonna take a look at the waterfall first, but check out this flows V8. This is one of my favorite areas at nighttime just to come here with my friends. We'll order food and we'll just sit there and chit chat, and talk, and love it. Now look at this little archway here, beautiful. And then of course you've got the Monument Valley, and right behind it you have that waterfall. Look at that waterfall. And that's the bridge. Sally and uh, Lightning McQueen went across that bridge on their very first date. Look at that waterfall though. So good. So good. 
It's absolutely gorgeous. And look at the lighting up here on the archway. You can see like this archway, how cool it looks. And then you can see it's kind of transitioning out. The lights get a little softer as you go out here. Man, it looks so good. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, you know how I was just saying that whole area is beautiful at night? It is, it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. But do you know who's also beautiful? You, and I am talking to you. And here's the problem. In this today's world of society, beauty is defined really weird. Like it's like supposed to be like supermodels and people with like really chiseled chins and things like that. They consider that be beauty. That's not really beauty. Beauty is being kind to other people. Beauty is making the world a better place, making the world more beautiful, and you do that. Do you know how you do that? By being here. You are a beautiful person, and you make the world better just by being here. And I hope that you know that. And if you don't know that, they come back here and watch our videos a lot and know that I'm your friend, and I think that you are absolutely wonderful. And I really do, I mean that. You make the world a better place. And I am talking to you. I thought we should just show going in from the other side how pretty it looks at nighttime. Just looks great, doesn't it? The, the tree lit up, the archways lit up. You go right on through and you see how beautiful those mountains are. You can come right around here, you're gonna see the Ornament Valley, and then you're gonna see the tail fins of the Cadillacs right there. Tallest one, by the way, is 125 feet tall. That's the center one. It's amazing. You know, it's interesting. One of the very first videos I ever did for Post Park Pass was Cars Land Secrets Revealed. And I just watched it. It's almost five years old now. I just watched it the other day and it's really outdated. I'm talking about things like fast passes and like that. If you would, if you want me to do a whole brand new video on Cars Land Secrets Revealed, then down in the comments down below, put Cars Land Part 2 or Cars Land Remix or Redo Cars Land or just basically say Cars Land. If I get enough of that, if I get a, a, more than a hundred of those, then I will do a whole new video on Secrets Revealed for Cars Land that you don't know. What? So back in the day, I guess, in Route 66, one of the ways they would advertise, they'd have a sign so you'd read them as you go along, kind of break up the boredom as you're driving. And they have that here in uh, Cars Land, the signs, as, so I'm gonna show that to you, as it was if you were driving. So the first sign says, Mater used it. And the next sign is, dang near fainted. Then you get the next sign. Oh, look how the I love how they lit up though. Looked like he had just been painted. Rusties. And that's how they would like advertise. You'd be like driving along and then reading all these signs, like boom, 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 boom. Wow, there they go. Hey everybody, I realized I missed uh, I missed a hood. So I had to come here. Oh, I gotta get close to see it. Look at it. The snowflakes made out of wrenches and like crescent wrenches. <laughs> How cool is that? That that's a good looking hood. Like I I mean like I would have that on my car. I love how that curio has just light bulbs. No neon. So cool. Alright, let's just keep walking down this way. Do you guys remember when I talked about Mr. Curb Feeler? Well, this here is the Luigi's Rollickin' Roadsters. And it's kind of like a wedding. They got all the lights lit up there. But if you look at that building, what do you see right back there? You see the building, and what do you see? Mr. Curb Feeler and Sparky Spark Plugs. You can really see it at nighttime because they have the lights shining down on them. Now, as you leave Cars Land, you start heading into Avengers Campus, you're gonna start seeing these signs. And this is transitioning you from Cars Land into Avengers Campus. And this sign here says, the incredible, the amazing, astonishing, all new Stark for 1955. A ride so smooth, you'll swear you were flying. It shows like a car with little white wall tires. And then you come down here, it says, eyes to the skies in 55. The future is Stark, Stark Motors. Here it is, moving along. And you'll notice it's got a little thing down there. Instead of tires, it's got a little, little doohickey there. The theory is, is that, you know, this is Stark Industries was here in 1955. Then they ended up turning it into Avengers Campus. But on the back side of those signs, we need to show you something here. So if you come this way and you're walking this way, what do you see? It says Radiator Springs, only five miles. Get away to Ornament Valley. Then as you get a little bit closer, what do you see? Welcome to Radiator, Radiator Springs, home of Lightning McQueen and Sir Tomater. That's from uh, Cars 2, when he comes, uh, I guess gets knighted, he becomes a sir. All right guys, here's Mater. I just wanna give a little video of that. You'll notice his light is off because they're doing photos, but when he's driving, his light will come on. Oh, you look good, Mater. 
Looks so good. Honk if you like the what holidays. What can I do for a drive? <laughs> I sure do love the view. Cause it's you. <laughs> All right, well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Wait a minute. Did you like this video? You did? Oh, great. Let's keep watching him. Here's what I would like from you. If you haven't liked the video for whatever reason, hit the like button. It's free. It's something easy to do. And then if you want me to do an updated Cars Land, put Cars Land something down below. Cars Land, Cars Land, whatever you want to put. As long as it says Cars Land, if I get over 100, I will do an updated Cars Land Secrets Revealed. You guys, if you really are feeling generous and you want to be like super kind to me, if you go down and hit the subscribe button, it's free. Hit that little subscribe button. You, see, you can subscribe to as many YouTube channels as you want. Hit that subscribe button. Every time I see that somebody subscribe to the channel, I'm like, oh my gosh, people like what we're doing. And it really encourages me to, to keep doing this. So thank you so much for watching this video. This is the nighttime is the right time here at Cars Land because it is beautiful. Absolutely hope you enjoyed it and gorgeous and it's awesome. I'll talk to you later. Oh, by the way, if you want to come down to Juzan, the best way to do this is uh, click the link down below. You get the cheapest tickets or you can call 1-855-GETAWAY and be sure to tell them Provost Park Pass sent you you'll get the best discount, the lowest ticket prices you can coming down to Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and they'll help you with your hotels. Uh-huh. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Cars land at night. Time is so cool. It's so bright. It's so fun. It makes my eyeballs pop out of my head and go, what the heck is going on? Because I like Cars land at nighttime. It is the right time.